I think Melbourne's a really fun place. I think it's a really funky place. I think it's the most livable city in the world. And I think everyone who lives here enjoys it because there's so much to do. And shopping and clothes and you name it. I think Melbourne's got it. For me, I wanted this to be a very fun story to tell. Um, and this is why we chose uh, Melbourne as the backdrop for youth, or if you want to call it in Tamil, Ilame, or if you want to call it in Hindi, Javani. I think it's a really interesting opportunity to actually sort of present a side of Australia that we don't sort of see all that often in our sort of film and television for some particular reason. Because uh, you look around you on the streets and Australia is a pretty big melting pot, sort of diversity and we just don't see all that much of it yet. I think we're getting there, but um, I'm sort of keen to put a bit more of it on on the screen. And this is not about the cultural wars or differences. This is about just us being here. I relate to this country more than I do to any other country. And I want to represent my home the way I see it as well. And it may be slightly different to what you might see on TV. Personally, I think that the Australian film industry uh, needs to be broader. Uh, it needs to appeal to a wide variety of people, not just Australians, uh, which I found a lot recently um, that Australian film just, it barely even uh, relates to Australians. So if we make something multicultural, maybe we'll appeal to other audiences, broadening our horizons. The inspiration behind this project is, um, actually for me, it's very close to home. It's uh, my father. Um, it was a dream that my father had to become an actor once upon a time and he didn't get to achieve that dream. Um, he made certain choices in life and um, later on down the track he tended to go back and regret it. Um, what attracted me to this project, Youth, is uh, the idea because it's so relatable and everybody can relate, on, uh, relate to it on some level. Um, I find that Anybody who can make some sort of de decision will relate to this project because it is about that. It's about uh, human error. It's about uh, making decisions, not regretting your life choices uh, and getting a chance to do it all again. We're actually collaborating worldwide for this project. Um, although the music is being done in Sydney by Philip John, who's already worked on a couple of films in India. The Tamil vocals are being done in Canada by The Prophecy, and he's an up-and-coming hip-hop artist himself. Then we have the Hindi vocals and the remix being sorted out in London by Wes Ali, who's also a up-and-coming hip-hop artist in the UK. What we're doing right now is trying to make a trailer for a feature film. And this trailer is in the form of a music video and we're trying to create this awesome music video which is what this whole um, you know, fundraising is for. It's a whole lot of fun. We've got, uh, we've got magical drugs and sort of mysterious older women um, and sort of depressive alcoholics who get to become their previously non-alcoholic sort of young selves and all sorts of cool stuff. And we need your help to make this possible so that we can use this as a pitch package to create this feature film later. Um, we really hope you can donate, so please put in any money you can. And all that money will go towards equipment, uh, any hiring that we have to do. It'll go towards locations, food, whatever to make this film happen. So please, please donate anything you can.